Hi, today we're going to talk about a clock spring, one of several features it does in a vehicle. I'm going to show you how to time one in a vehicle where you can get it centered. This is a clock spring out of a 2001 Chevy truck. This is the top side that plugs into your airbag. This disc looks like a hockey puck is the actual clock spring. This is the other end that goes down through the steering column and then plugs into your wiring harness. So this would just be trailing off through the steering column. When you get one of these out of the box, the centerpiece always spins freely. What you want to do is take this and spin it until you feel that it won't turn any further. This one bottoms out right here. When you have your wheels on your vehicle straight ahead, you will notice that you can only turn about two and a half turns on your steering wheel before you hit the steering stops and your car won't turn any further. So if you put this clock sprick in like this, currently in this position, and you got in the car made a right hand turn, as soon as it goes right here, it's going to keep turning, it's going to break the clock spring internally. So you would ruin it. So what you do before you install them, you find out where the stop is, you back this off, the two turns, there's one, two, and we'll do three. Now you would install it in the vehicle, it'll be able to make a turn to the right and to the left, and you won't rip the wires out of the inside of this. It's a continuous wire, and you will rip the inside of it out if it's not connected to the steering shaft. 